Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we are going to see basics of sequential circuit design from the subject VLSI design. The topics that we are going to see in this video are combinational circuits, sequential circuits, static and dynamic circuits, latches, flip-flops and registers. First, let us see what is combinational circuit. So, combinational circuit means here the output depends on the current inputs alone. That means it does not depend on the past values or future values. Therefore, the combinational circuit does not have any memory. So, the important building blocks of combinational circuit is logic gates. Next, let us see what is sequential circuit so sequential circuit means here the output depends on the present input as well as previous inputs so if it depends on the previous inputs means then the meaning is it has memory the best example for sequential circuit is finite state machines and pipelines normally these sequential circuits are built using latches registers or flip-flops so, these sequential circuits are sometimes called as memory elements because it can able to store the data. So, that data is called as tokens. So, the main mm, uh, purpose of this sequential circuit is it is used for sequencing the data. That is, for example, if you are giving 5 inputs means the 5 inputs should not get overlapped it should be sequenced so for that purpose only we go for these sequential circuits let us see what is static and dynamic circuits so always remember static circuit means it does not have any clock signal as the input but dynamic circuit means it has a clock input the best example for static circuits are complementary CMOS, pseudo NMOS or pass transistor logic. Then dynamic circuit examples are domino logic. So if you are using static storage, that is static circuits means it definitely have feedback to retain its out output. But if you are using dynamic storage means there will be charging and disting of capacitance. Therefore, we have to refresh the capacitor periodically so that only the output value can be maintained. So, this is the difference between static storage as well as dynamic storage. Next, let us see what is meant by latches. So, latches means it does not have any clock signal. It is called as asynchronous device because it does not require any clock signal. Also, if we want to trigger a latch, means we have to use level triggering. Level triggering means, here you can see a pulse waveform. This is the low level and this is the high level. And this is the rising edge and this is the falling edge. If we are using this low level and high level to trigger a latch means then it is called as level triggering. That is, if it is equal to zero, then the output of the latch will be obtained. If the high level is equal to 1, then you will be getting the output. If it is in between low level and high level means the latch will not be triggered. So, this type of triggering is called as level triggering. So, in latches we can use to store a single bit of data. So, if you want to change that sequence means then we should use this level triggering. Next, let us see what is meant by a flip-flop. So, latches means we won't give any clock signal. But in flip-flop, we will be using clock signals. So, it is a synchronous device. If you are using clock signal means then definitely that device is a synchronous device. So, unclocked flip-flop is also called as latches. So, here in flip-flop, if you want to trigger the flip-flop means we have to use edge triggering method. 
in latches we have to use level triggering here we have to use edge triggering edge triggering means during the rising transition that means the when the signal goes from low value to high value otherwise during the falling transition from high value to low value only we can trigger the flip flop next one is registers so registers is nothing but collection or a group of flip flops it is called as register so flip flop is used to store one bit memory that means if you want to store a single digit we can use this flip flop if you want to store four it means we have to use four flip flops so this four flip flops can be collectively called as a register i hope you all have understood the basic concepts of sequential circuits so if you like this video kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you